The YF-23 is a unique looking aircraft that uses diamond shaped wings and specially designed profiles to reduce aerodynamic drag during supersonic and transonic speeds. The aircraft also features a fully movable V-tail and a high cockpit placement, allowing for excellent pilot visibility. The YF-23 was later given the nickname NATF-23 after it was discovered that this model had significant differences from its predecessor aircraft. The NATF-23 was proposed as a replacement for the F-14 Tomcat, and unlike the previous model, the NATF-23 had a diamond-shaped wing that extended as far back as possible. In addition, the aircraft is equipped with a traditional inclined vertical tail, rather than a refurbishment with a serration, which aims to reduce the radar cross-section while increasing maneuverability at low speeds, facilitating operations aboard carriers. NATF-23 was also equipped with folding wings to allow storage on the flight deck, and its landing gear was reinforced with tail hooks and canards to assist in carrier landings. Furthermore, the NATF-23 also features a vector thrust nozzle on this model, a quarter circle with serrated and compressed surfaces, which can be adapted primarily to the increased wingspan to 48 feet and reduced length to 62 feet compared to the original Life 23 design. Although the initial Life 23 design was evaluated, problems with the flight deck, stowage, management, and catapult launch emerged that required an alternative design. Boeing donated a wind tunnel test model NATF-23, which underwent 14,000 hours of testing at the Bellefontaine Klein Park Veterans Memorial in 2001. The F-23 fighter has several characteristics that could be integrated into the Air Force's proposed sixth-generation fighter, or deep interceptor, designed to assist B-21 Raiders during their missions. One of these traits is the V-tail aspect which was discussed in the early stages of development of the next-generation fighter. However, Boeing may withdraw from its previous engagement with the F-23 as it considers their future fighter design. There are several differences between the production configuration of the F-23 proposed for engineering and manufacturing development, as well as the YF-23 prototype compared to a solitary weapons bay. The EMD concept featured a pair of tandem bays located in the fuselage that extended forward. The center bay is intended to accommodate limited range Objective 9 missiles, while the M61 gun is positioned on the forward port side of the fuselage. The fuselage was slightly lengthened and volume increased. The nose enlarged to accommodate the mission systems, including the radar, and the chines on the rest of the body protruded less and were raised to the same height as the leading edge wing's nacelles. The engines could adopt a smaller and more circular shape by removing the thrust reversing the gap between them, retained to ensure area regulation. In 2004, Northrop Grumman submitted a proposal for a bomber based on the YF-23 in response to requests from the USAF for a temporary bomber, along with the FB-22 and B-1R as competitors. Northrop took a line IA aircraft and modified it so that it could serve as a visual representation of their proposed bomber. However, the idea of having an interim bomber based on the YF-23 was abandoned following the 2006 Biennial Defense Review of the Next Generation Bomber Program and the Long Range Bomber Program. Japan had also started development of its fifth or sixth generation fighter program in July 2018. It realized that outside collaboration would be required to bring this project to completion. Once sufficient, know-how was acquired. YF-23 is a fighter aircraft that has special sophistication and characteristics, making it a fighter aircraft that attracts attention in the aerospace industry. Here are some of the sophistication and stealth features of the YF-23. Diamond-shaped wings. One of the striking features of the YF-23 is the diamond-shaped wings. This design is intended to reduce aerodynamic drag during supersonic and transonic flight, allowing the aircraft to reach high speeds more efficiently. Movable V-Tail YF-23 is equipped with a fully movable V-Tail. This feature allows the aircraft to achieve better maneuverability and provides high stability during flight. Cockpit with great visibility High cockpit positioning of the YF-23 provides excellent visibility for the pilot. This allows the pilot to have a wider view during flight and operations. Stealth and radar cross-section reduction YF-23 is designed with stealth technology to reduce radar cross-section, RCS. 
The special shape and materials of the aircraft reduce the reflection of radar waves, making them more difficult to detect by enemy radars. Slanted tail and folded wings design. The YF-23 features a traditional slanted tail and folded wings. This design allows the aircraft to be operated from the carrier, expanding its flexibility and operational capabilities. Vector Thrust Nozzle YF-23 is equipped with an adjustable vector thrust nozzle. This feature allows the aircraft to change the direction of engine thrust in flight, providing better control during maneuvers and dogfights. Reconnaissance and Bomber Capabilities Apart from being a fighter, the YF-23 also has reconnaissance and bomber capabilities. This capability makes it a versatile aircraft that can be used in a variety of missions. Sixth-generation aircraft technology. The YF-23 is a sixth-generation aircraft that has been proposed for the future of air defense. With its advanced technology, the YF-23 is considered an advanced fighter and meets the demands of modern combat. The sophistication and stealth features of the YF-23 make it an innovative and attractive fighter. Although not selected as the primary fighter of the United States Air Force, the experience and technology gained from the YF-23 has contributed to the development of the next generation of fighter aircraft. The success and achievements of the YF-23 inspired the development of a more sophisticated and efficient future fighter. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos.